Bullfrog here. On my last video, I showed you the insides of my 25 caliber Benjamin Marauder, and I showed you the modifications I've made to the gun that has made it up to a 95 foot-pounds of energy gun. Uh, I also sh showed you, though, that um, there's disadvantages to running the gun that hot, and that I am going to attempt to retune the gun to shoot much more efficiently at a lower power level. What I'm going to do today is run the gun over the chronograph, and if I need to, I'm going to tune it, but I, I kind of have my doubts that I'm going to need to do anything to it. And, uh, excuse me, sweat. Um, and uh, I, I think where the gun's at already, it's going to perform like I want it to, and the way I am uh, guessing that, or hypothesizing that, if you want to put it that way, is... Um, when I first got the gun back together, I did run one string over the chronograph. I'll, I'll put the video of that up in one of these corners here. And um, I got 16 shots um, going from about 900 feet per second or, or eight, 890 feet per second on up to the 930s and back down to 900 again. Um, so that's uh, about 16 shots within roughly a 4% spread of my peak um, using about 30 PSI's per shot. Uh, that's a huge improvement over the factory, but I know my gun's capable of shooting even better than that. So uh, what I did from that point was I increased the spring tension a little bit. Uh, I was having a little bit of hammer bounce. Uh, I went from having the spring tension set from five turns in to six and a half turns in. I left the hammer stroke like it is. I'm using a short hammer stroke. Uh, I didn't count it out, but about six or so turns um, in, you know, to where the hammer um, is extended out about six turns or so uh, is where I left the gun when I put it back together, and I'm going to leave it there. But I can tell now and sh the way the gun sounds when I dry fire it, uh, it's very quiet, and that tells me that it's probably being very efficient with air. Uh, and uh, I probably eliminated the hammer bout while at the same time increasing the power. So I'm going to run it over the chronograph now. I'm going to see where it's shooting, and uh, if it's where I want it, I'm going to leave it, and if not, I'll do some tuning.
Okay, I did some figuring here and I uh, have some numbers for you. I had uh, 36 shots total and I started on a fill pressure of 3,000 PSI's and I ended on a fill pressure of 1975. Now, the way I got 1975, my hill pump works in increments of 200. And so, you know, in between, directly in between 200 would be 100 PSI's. And then in between that would be another 50 PSI's. And my arrow was directly underneath the 2000 mark. So it hadn't quite made it out to the next increment that I would call 50. So I'm going to call that uh, 1975. It actually might be a little higher than that, but that's close enough for my purposes. So 3,000 PSI's to 1,975 PSI's for a total of 1,025 PSI's used over 36 shots, meaning I'm using 28.47 PSI's per shot, which is actually just a couple PSI's better than the 30 PSI's I was doing um, the other day when I shot the gun after putting it back together. But that's close enough. We'll, we'll pretty much consider that that's, you know, the same amount of air usage, 28 PSI's, 30 PSI's. What is significant is I greatly improved my numbers just by cranking up that spring tension. I had uh, a high of 936 feet per second and I had within 2% of that peak number, I had 15 shots. And then within 4% of that peak number, I had 22 shots. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, the first, first 14 shots ranged from 790 to 887, but then from shot 15 to shot 36, they started at 900, went on up into the 930s and back down to 900 again. I'll post the, the numbers up here, maybe in one of the corners of the video here. But I'm very proud of that for JSB Kings. No, it's not 80 foot-pounds, but um, what is that? That's like 49 or 50 foot-pounds. I'll, I'll figure it out and post it up here. Uh, somewhere in the high 40s or right at 50 foot-pounds thereabouts. Um, but that's very consistent. It's very efficient. And um, it, it's also going to be working at a, at a low fill pressure, somewhere about 2,600 PSI's will be what I would fill to to start at uh, 900 feet per second. So that's really good. I'm pleased with that. And uh, that gives you an idea as to what the gun can do. You've already seen what the gun can do in, in hunting circumstances when I have it at 80 foot-pounds of energy. But, um, but just in terms of, um, you know, uh, having a gun that gets a lot of shots and it's still powerful enough for my purposes um, I'm very pleased with this um, in fact I the the night I put the gun back together the evening uh, I ended up uh, going coon hunting that evening and um, I was experimenting with a red light and it turns out that the red light actually showed up better on camera than how it appeared on the view screen but to make the shot I actually took the camera off of the scope and just look with my naked eye through the scope so I could see my reticle and uh, ended up shooting that coon and I'll just what little bit of video I got of that I'll, I'll throw up after this uh, but for future reference I am going to try using that red light again because I found that if I crank the brightness up on the view screen of my camera then I can see everything just fine it's just a matter of my camera's view screen not being set bright enough thank you all for watching and um, you know, again, I hope this shows what you can do with your Marauder if you just put a little elbow grease into it. Take care.